I knew it. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist me any more than you can go on denying your love for me. Don't stop, my darling. Please don't stop. Tell me why you want this. What? You tried to kill me. Why do you want me back now? Because I know now. I finally realize. Realize what? That you're the only man who's ever truly loved me for a while. Who accepts me good, bad, and no matter what. You betrayed me. You destroyed me. I can't forget that. I won't forget. Okay. Please, wait. Please. I need you. I need things to be the way they once were. It's not possible. They can never be the way they were. Yes, it can. Come on, with you, anything is possible. Just tell me. What do I have to do to win your love again, to have you back completely? all these memories of what it was like to be with you. I tried fighting them, fighting the constant pull to you that every day would just get stronger and stronger. But I couldn't. I still can't. Caleb, you told me that love in this world fleeting and temporary, but your love was infinite and forever. So if that is true, then it must also be true that you still love me, that you still long for me the way I love you. Begging you, please. I need to feel close to you as close as I possibly can. <sighs> what are you doing? Oh, my gosh, you're unbelievable. <laughs> What's going on? What is this? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I just, I can't go through with this. As, as much as I would love to, it just too easy, and it got way too freaky in the end. What are you saying? I'm saying it was a gag, Libby. For the millionth time, I'm not Caleb. I'm Stephen Clay. <laughs> and you know, as much as I would um, love to sleep with you, I'm leaving so you can get dressed.
be patient. Because I got all the time in the world.